What's up, Cubers? My name is Kenneth. Today, I want to show you guys this Acorns Rubik's Cube that I designed and 3D printed. I want to glue it together and show you guys a little bit about the design process and how I 3D printed it. So let's get started. So while I'm gluing these pieces onto the 2x2, two two, I want to talk quickly about why I made this Acorns logo to begin with. If you're a longtime viewer of my channel, you've probably seen this Acorns logo in the background on that sticker in the back or on a t-shirt or something like that. And the reason I have these Acorns logos everywhere is because I actually work at Acorns as a company and I've been there for over five years. And when I started, I was uh, one of their first employees and I was tasked with building the Android version of their app. And basically what Acorns is, it's an app where you can create an investment account right on your phone. You can get started with as little as $5. And the cool thing we do is every time you swipe your card, we can track those purchases so that we can round it up to the nearest dollar and invest that extra change. So if you spend like $3.50 somewhere, we'll round it up to $4 and put 50 cents in a diversified portfolio. That's how we started. So we started with these roundups, but you can also add money anytime or on a recurring basis. So that's Acorns, and like I said, when I started, there was only 10 people in the company, and now we've grown to over 250 employees, and my role has changed a lot as well. So now I'm a director of engineering, and I manage our Android and iOS teams, and I work on some of our big projects, including Acorn Spend. It's this really beautiful debit card uh, made out of tungsten. It's really heavy. Uh, it looks really awesome. It's got amazing features, and I would tell you about them, but I don't want to bore you guys. But if you are interested, definitely click the link in, in the description. If you actually sign up with that link, you actually get $5 invested in your account once you start investing. So definitely check it out if you're interested. Uh, but you do have to be 18 or older and a U.S. resident. So check it out. So this puzzle here, this this Acorns Rubik's Cube is something I've been wanting to make forever. Uh, I've been talking about it for five years, but now I finally have the 3D modeling skills as well as uh, the 3D printing skills to make it happen. So I want to show you guys kind of how I, I made this. Like I've done a couple of these before, but I've never really shown how I made it in Fusion 360. So here's how I designed it. So here's the design in Fusion 360, but let me start it at the beginning so, so I can show you how I, I made this. So the first thing I did was I actually had to make the two by two in the center that I was gonna to use to cut out of these kind of caps. So first I made that kind of square drawing and I extruded it outward to make this cube. And then I moved the cube kind of down to the middle. I, th I think I, what I should have done was I can extrude it up and down at the same time, but whatever. So I get the cube in the middle of uh, the, the design. Uh, the next thing I did was I brought in an image of the acorns logo and i had to trace the image uh, so you can see the sketch i made let's see it here here's the sketch right here you can see line to line i had to kind of sketch it out and then it gave me uh, this these kind of two um, shapes here and then i realized that the shapes were smaller than i wanted so i uh, kind of I scaled it up so if i get rid of that image uh, you can see kind of the the shape of the acorn is now there and you can see the two by two that's going to be in the middle of this acorns logo so next thing i did was i extruded the sketch outward and, and downward and upward and you can see how it looks there um, i actually extruded on this side as well but let's make let's hide it for now and you can see the two by two here and i didn't want that two by two showing right so if i if I just left it the two by two there, you could have seen it, which is not good. So I wanted to kind of like make a cap over the, the two by two. And so the next thing I did was I, I kind of drew a square on this face here. So you can see this square here. And with that square, I then extruded outward from that to kind of cover the two by two in the middle. And then I merged the top and the bottom all together into one body so you can see the one body. And in the middle of this is that two by two. So the next thing I had to do was I needed to kind of cut out the two by two hole in the middle of the Acorns logo. So I was able to cut that out and then I've got this hollow hole in the middle where the two by two belongs. From there, I could just uh, cut along the main planes uh, uh, along the origin, the X, Y, X, Z, and Y, Z planes to kind of slice this into the eight pieces that I needed. So those are, there's the eight pieces. You can see the eight pieces there. But then, you know, I, I, I wanted to round these corners, give them uh, some fillets so that they uh, will be able to turn nicely. I'm not going to get corners like catching on each other so you can see I rounded those uh, corners so that they're nice and round like that and that's all I had to do and that's how that's how I made this puzzle 
um, you can see these pieces are, are now designed. That's how I designed it. So once I designed it, I decided to just go ahead and try printing it. So uh, the way you 3D print something like this is you export it into an STL file and then import it into a slicer. And this is what a 3D printer needs to be able to 3D print it. So this is my slicer Cura. And with this, you can plan exactly how the 3D printer is gonna print it. You can choose how much infill to give it. So how, how kind of like filled with plastic the inside is and how many walls it's gonna make. So I printed it with four walls, so it's really strong. It's only got 10% infill, which is fine because the walls are so thick. Uh, the whole thing is very strong. This blue material in the middle is uh, some filler material used for supports. So that way when this layer right here comes in, you don't want that layer just to fall down. So you need the blue support material so that that layer can lay down just fine. Uh, and then it can continue printing. So anyway, I, uh, I gave it a, a print on my CR10 printer and my first print just worked out great. I bought some, some green PLA and it was a perfect color green. Second print with the second layer turned out great as well. That's how I designed and 3D printed this. So here's the Acorn 2x2 and I really like how it turns out. I, uh, I've just played with it a little bit. Um, I really like the kind of patterns that I can make with it, which is really fun. So you can do some really interesting kind of shapes with it. That's kind of cool. It almost looks like the Acorns logo, but it looks a little funny up here. Looks like a helmet or something. Anyway, if you just do these like 180 degree turns, uh, it will kind of keep the same shape of the puzzle. You can still do 90 degree turns along the face, but if you go across the face, you have to do 180 degree turns and that will keep it nice and flat like this. But if you start making just 90 degree turns, then the whole puzzle starts getting really shape shifted and it goes really crazy, really fast. And it looks really kind of messed up and cool. So here's a scrambled acorns logo. You see uh, what a mess it turns into, which is a lot of fun. So anyway, let's now see if uh, I can solve it. So here we go on your mark. Get set. There we go. So after solving this puzzle, I'm really impressed with the two by two I used. It turns really great. It's a lot smoother than I had expected. And, uh, you know, it, it just turns really well. I actually just chose like the first one on Amazon that looked like it would turn well, that was stickerless. So I didn't have to pull the stickers off. I could just glue right to the puzzle. And I also needed like one day shipping. So I just found the first one that met that criteria. And it turns out that this puzzle is really good. So uh, I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in the two by two I use. Also post all the files on Thingiverse if you wanna print your own. And uh, the only other thing, the thing I'm kind of disappointed with is there's no real good way to like show off this puzzle. I really just want to put it on my desk at work and kind of show it off. So I'm thinking maybe I need to 3D print a stand for it to just sit really nicely. So I think I'm going to have to do that next. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you liked it, definitely hit the like button. That helps out. And uh, definitely leave a comment. I'm kind of interested in what you guys think. I, I want to make more of these. So I've done the jack o lantern I've done the acorns logo and i've done like yoda's head so what should i turn into a puzzle next leave a comment let me know uh yeah that's it guys thanks for watching and of course have a great day